shit your pants as an adult? I haven't. There's still time. Lord knows the clock's ticking. Tell me a sound that's better than this. That hawk to and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Give me that. Give me that on there. Oh, look at that. Right there. Mm. What y'all know about that? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So Jessica and I are what we call a 50-50 relationship. Like, she cooks breakfast in the morning, then I put a load in the dishwasher. Can you stop calling me the f***ing dishwasher? Yeah, it was like this big. This big? Yes, like eight inches. Are you kidding? Mm-mm. It was huge. Did it hurt? Like a little bit. Uh -huh. It took like three flushes to go down. Oh, hell no! What do you bring to the table? A lot. What, what do you bring to the table? This plate. That's it? This mouth. That's it? And more? You can find out we just met. Bye, Felicia. Alright, give me one more other than those two. Um... This put You worthless piece of dog shit. Dang, these chicks really shit the bed thinking all we needed was pussy, huh? Try to get pussy any day of the week like it ain't nothing because y'all push the feminist movement so hard. Now what the fuck you gonna sell me? Depend, depend. <laughs> If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Amen, brother. You look sad, but I, I don't like that. I'm going to fix it. Open your hands. Squish! <laughs> triples a third time and still Pastrana in the lead and now we come into the last step on step off in the whoop section this is where we saw Travis make time and he does it again the 500 two stroke cannot be matched to the rollers of Pastrana pulls the backflip and lands oh. flat <laughs> understand where Donald Trump was coming from even more and just saying that just saying that is going to make some people their heads turn into a bottle cap and you shook and fly off of their body that's what just because be, and why like think to yourself like actually why it's like well I hate him why though why because somebody said because somebody told you to dude because somebody told you or somebody told you something that he said almost all the time it isn't what he said and donald trump is just one example it's crazy i used to think of myself i was super liberal i used to be super liberal i used to be super liberal and uh I literally, whenever somebody would say fake news, I thought to myself, immediately, my immediate reaction was, you dirty hillbilly. That's what I thought to myself. Everything is fake news. The man couldn't have been more right. Hey, I'm Amber. I only love men when they have money and big box. People think I'm a coke whore, but I've never done coke on weekdays. The only social media I keep is an OnlyFans. Subscribe. I made sure to bully everyone in high school. Why? Because it builds character for them. They got really hot after graduation. I've never paid for a single thing in my life. Why would I? I'm pretty. I never get sad. Why would I? I'm pretty. Hey, so she want me to help her with her cardio. So I told her that she smells like my ex today. Hey, look. Look what we got. <laughs> hey, we were running for 20 minutes straight, y'all. Come on, baby. Pick up the speed. Pick up the speed. Pick it up. There we go. Come on, my ex look better than you. She got a fat ass in you. She look better than you. Come on. Slow ass. Making my way downtown. Being fast. Selling ass, I'm a hoe now. And I need you. 
I laugh every time I hear people saying, yeah, you know, I don't like working for other people, so. You know, I, I want to work for myself because I want to set my own hours. Yeah, right. Let me tell you what. When you work for yourself, there's no Christmas, there's no fucking Easter. There's none of that shit when you work for yourself. In the early days, you're working through all those holidays. Every day something bad happens. Every day there's problems. Every day somebody's trying to fuck you and take what you've built and it's a war. Guys, that's a war as well worth it and it don't last forever. The shit gets easy as fuck if you really put the time in, you treat people right, you're honest. You started a business, you evaluated and you knew it'd be profitable from the start. I'm telling you, man, my life has never been better. There's nothing more rewarding to have pride in and to be proud of yourself, what you created. So get out there and do it and don't be discouraged. Show yourself and then what you're fucking. There's too many guys walking around believing that they've made multiple women finish on this earth, so I just wanted to set the record straight real fast. You didn't do it. She faked. She faked it. Who cares? Still fucked. <laughs> Man, it's so sad that half these girls ain't busting a nut in real life. You gotta be the change you want to see, guys. It ain't that hard. And I took the easy way out, which was, okay, what's the next dick? Because there's always gonna be, you know, dick. dicks. You feel? <laughs> a dick is like an oxy. It makes you forget about the pain from your last relationship and you just need more oxys you feel <laughs> when you do that a lot it really fucks up your your mind because those men nine out of ten don't really give a fuck about you and when you meet a nice man you wouldn't even realize oh like this is real love and you will fuck that up too i'm gay i'm a lesbian i am actually pansexual i am transgender I'm a race car. It's giving well fed. It's giving she don't miss no meals. It's giving she can hold her weight. Hi guys, it's me again, your number one attention seeking host showing you a pointless video of me on the treadmill. I start by showing the world my ham sandwich by doing this stupid stretch and then I made sure to angle the camera low so you're able to see what I had for breakfast. Even though this video has absolutely no purpose, it gives me purpose because it gives me the likes and comments which I need to feel validated. And if I'm completely honest, I don't even do cardio, I just need to film my ass hoping it goes viral because I want to be insta famous. At the end of the video, I'll bend down to give you one last look at this pussy fat. Then I'll look back at the camera one last time, do a peace sign and walk off. See you next time. More fun to hang with your main guy or your side guy. There's always a side nigga. That's why you like having a side nigga. My side guy. Side nigga always. I don't have a side nigga, but my but, side nigga. I'm going to say the side nigga. The side guy for sure. Only because he fucks me better than the main nigga, but we keep the main nigga for stability. Side guy for sure. Definitely the side nigga. Okay, I feel comfortable with my main nigga. He's gonna make sure I'm okay. But that side nigga finna blow my motherfucking back. You know what I notice about some women is that some women expect for a man to love her unconditionally, but she wants to love this man under conditions, what this man can do for her, how much he can provide, how much money he make, where he work, what type of job he doing. But this man is supposed to accept you with, with open arms. Baby, you have yet to heal from childhood trauma. Your mama and your daddy failed you. You still have abandonment issues, baby. You insecure with yourself because you sitting here comparing yourself to this girl on social media. You don't even like the way that you look, but this man is supposed to accept you and love you unconditionally.
Mm. Have you checked on that man's mental health? Have you called him and asked him, is he okay? Did you tell him that he was a king? Did you make him feel like that? And a lot of women say it's not my job to shape and mold. And man, that may not be your job, but it ain't your job to damn sure as hell stress that man out. But he gotta love you unconditionally and take you and your bad ass kids. I'm sorry. Call me back. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I had it up too. And it is so fucking jacked up. I can't even get involved. And then your only payout is a little bit of pussy sometimes. If they want to. Fuck it. Can we please get rid of one of these cars? We don't need three cars. That one doesn't even freaking run. Please, maybe for me. Sometimes in life you have to make difficult decisions. Steven, where is my car? Steven, where the f is my car? Thank God this was not one of those times. All right, y'all. Let's see what I got for y'all today. You know, I'm out here on the yard, spring, starting to feel like summer. So beautiful. Man, you guys, like, our lives are so dynamic and we could change everything in just a handful of years, you know? And for me, fuck, I, I started this sandblasting business like four years ago and it's fucking working. It's so beautiful. I'm out here. I, don't, I got minimal amount of people I have to engage with. Um, I get crazy orders all the time. One dude ordered four grand on Friday. I woke up on Monday. I had another order for 63. It's like, fuck, it's crazy. It's such a beautiful blessing, especially in this economy. It's like, it doesn't even make sense. It's like somehow my heart's been full of gratitude and God's been giving me everything I need and more. And uh, in times where it's not, I thought it's not even really possible, you know, like how could the business be doing so fucking good? And how did I like, you know, well, this business was hard for a few years, guys. I guess that's really part of it, you know, is that um, it takes time to learn the secrets, to learn the tricks, to become better. And it's like two years of, you know, constantly learning, constantly putting out fires. But eventually you become stronger. Your stamina is better. Your brain is sharper. Uh, you've learned how to deal with the stress and not care. And man, you know, it just now it's just child's play. It's just a game. It's too much fun. The things that used to hurt my feelings and ruin my day before, I don't give a shit. It's just like, it's a, it's in my expectations now. <laughs> and, uh, well, honestly, it just doesn't bother me. You know, I mean, maybe when I first started sandblasting, it was hard on my body, but it's just not anymore because I'm way stronger. And uh, maybe when the shipping companies try to take advantage of me, every single time I do a shipment, I just know it's coming. So I just don't really care. But, you know, I want you guys to get on a path, create something with your life, you know. Five years ago, I was broke. I was trying to figure out how to pay the rent. In fact, I had lost another business because I had it had done so well. I got my other business partner a little bit of money, and he started acting terrible. So, uh, you know, I wanted to do something about it, but I put all my energy into this business, and God bless me. You know, it's the first time I didn't let my immaturity take over and try to do something about it. But, uh, you know, like I said, five years ago, I was fucking broke, and I was trying to figure it out. And uh, while I put a lot of irons in the fire and things happen, so, but I just encourage you guys to get on a path because the joy I feel today, the gratitude I feel today, standing on my other property um, in the sun, perfect temperature, hella orders, money's perfect. And when you fix the money problem, dude, your life feels way fucking different. So yeah, guys, you can do it. I swear to God, you can. And they say a lot of businesses fail, but I'm not sure if they fail really. If you analyze it properly before you start, the chances of you doing good is high. And, uh, you know, for me, like I have different businesses. One, I just had to kind of stop doing, it was breeding the rats. And so I was breeding the rats. I was making probably a thousand dollars a week, taking about three, four hours a week to do the whole thing. And, uh, well, you know, I got a cheaper deal and well, I need less responsibility and I got all these YouTube channels and stuff. And it's not that the business failed. It's that I outgrew the business. I had to let it go. I found a better deal, like where people could just, I just buy rats for a dollar. So it's like, literally, and now I can still drive them to the pet store and double my money and sell them for $2 if I want. But, you know, I have a lot of shit going on. So did the business fail or did we outgrow the business, you know? So sometimes your other businesses do so good, you got to let go of another one. And, well, they'd count it as a fail. So get out, get involved, guys. You can't trade your time for money and feel like this. You can't trade your time for money and really get super wealthy. You have to figure out how to get paid by the job. So figure out how to create value, figure out how to solve someone's problems that they can't solve. It's just that simple. Do the things that other people won't do. 
All right, y'all. I always appreciate you listening in. And I really, I'm, I'm saying all this to encourage you guys. I want y'all to feel what I feel. I want y'all to feel successful. I want you to feel like you gave it your all for years and it, a couple years and it fucking paid off because it feels so fucking good. That delayed gratification is on point. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all listening in. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to see you on the next one.